this lattice chapter, this is very important. This is his finite language that you can solve it by combinatorial sum. So I will always keep it in mind. There is always a, this kind of language is available. Then it is a type C language, regular language. That is very useful for our variable name, our variable, you know, all variable name, function name, everywhere. We have type C language. That is Noam Chomsky first comes out with the in 1957. Then always you know, there are two types of type to grammar. One is deterministic context free grammar, another is non-deterministic context free grammar. This deterministic context free grammar is very, very essential because we will use a part of it for our programming languages. We will use a part of it, not full, part of it programming languages. This is programming languages and here we can make it parsing to be OAN. Generally, all these context free grammar parsing is ONQ because ONQ n is the number of symbols, but ONQ is not acceptable for parsing. We require ON. So, for this, we have to find it out unambiguous grammar. We can definitely get it unambiguous grammar, but that is unambiguous grammar is undecidable problem. You cannot have an algorithm. Just try to get it. And but there are some languages inherently inherently ambiguous. This is even non-deterministic context free grammar. This is you, you cannot it is difficult, but it can be done by Turing machine. For Turing machine it can be done, but this motion we will never use it for language. So we use it this motion of what is the language for is uh, unambiguous grammar. We have to find it unambiguous grammar and uh, then the Context sensitive grammar is type 1, like W, 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 W,